Okay, kiddos. Today, we're going to be talking more about states of matter and how um, change of state occurs and um, how that is or is not an indicator of a chemical change occurring. So a change of state is just a change of physical state, not a chemical change. But anyway, we do this uh, lab with this um, chemical compound called phenylsalicate and its um, melting point is on the can here somewhere. I wanted to show you because there's a question on the lab sheet later on that says, let's see here. Yeah, melting point. It's right there. It's kind of old. I make the kids come look at it. So I'll show you here. It's hard to see. I think it says 43 degrees Celsius. Okay, so phenylsalicate. It's this kind of sugary looking substance. Underneath the microscope, it looks like that. We're going to use the alcohol burner to melt it. And then um, we'll watch it re-solidify. So a change of state for melting, and then a change of state for refreezing. Okay, and I'm using this handy dandy um, old setup of um, microscope display tool. Okay, so I'm gonna back up here. Oh, and there's a lab paper that goes with it. And so you'll put your name and uh, period and date. And so typing at home, and then we'll draw what we see. So maybe you guys at home can use um, Google Draw to insert an image there. And then we have some questions about what we observed during the process. And it talks about uh, using the blue Glencoe book and reading chapter four, and it gives page numbers for some of these questions. So it says read page, so there's page numbers to help. I will scan this for you guys at home so you have this, okay? Alrighty, so there's quite a few questions but we give a whole class period to do this so it shouldn't be a problem. In the past we've been able to do it just fine. Okay, now, oh and we took some notes that you'll use for it too. Okay, so I'm gonna back up here and kind of show what we do. Turn this like this, is that better? Okay, so now we will put a little of this on each of the slides. I've already done that. And um, I'll light my alcohol burner. Okay, and carefully, oh, I should have my hair tied back. And we will melt some of the substance. can see that, how that it's kind of, I can't see if I'm in the frame or not, okay. Anyway, it's just a little puddle of clear. We'll put it underneath the microscope here. And while it's underneath there, it just looks kind of clear. So we'll take a probe and it's got a little of that stuff left on from last year and we'll allow the heat to transfer up the piece of metal. Remember metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. So we'll allow the heat to escape and it will refreeze before our very eyes. We'll touch it one time and we'll let those little forming across the field on the projector. We'll move the slide so we can see a little more. Small subject. 
diamond shape edges growing there. like it. We'll be drawing that on our papers or So the melting point and freezing point are the same number for this substance, and it's freezing. Our room temperature causes it to freeze. Still videoing. 